Hey everybody, Dr. Dave Marquis here and have some thoughts for the day on taking personal responsibility. So viruses, they've been with us since the beginning of time and they will always be here. If one comes around, there's a very high probability you will acquire it because they're part of our microbiome. They always have been. Matter of fact, when you start to break the body down and you look at our components of this microbiome, well, we have about 10 trillion cells in our body, about 100 trillion live organisms in our gut, and then we have about 380 trillion viruses in us at all times. Did you know that? Something to really think about. These viruses are a key player in our microbiome and engaging and communicating with those things around us, the soil, the water, the trees, the dirt, sand, getting out and engaging in our environment as well as those people around us is what allows us to have a microbiome that has intelligence to protect us. It's literally a integral key player to your immune function. Multiple studies have shown that when we reduce our exposure to our environment, staying indoors and not engaging in activities that would allow us to get dirt under our fingernails and water in our nose and on our skin and interfacing with other human beings and animals, when we don't do that, it literally weakens our immune response. So I fully anticipate that as people come out of sheltering, that we'll see another surge. Just expect it. Don't freak out about it because it's anticipated that when you've reduced your immune response, you're going to acquire new infections. So then the question is, okay, if I'm almost guaranteed to have an immune insult when I come out of my shelter, what can I personally do to make sure that I fare well? Because we generally do. I mean, when you look at the vast majority of viruses, including the one we're dealing with right now, you got about a 99 plus percent survivability. So we all generally do well. Some people will say, yeah, man, I had a really bad cold, knocked me my socks off. Well, there's a reason for that. There's always a reason when somebody has a, a bad result to an infection. Some of the studies that I'll post on this, they're, they're really interesting. There was one posted in uh, JAMA this year, um, and it looked at Swedish mortality relative to gastrointestinal disorders. And it showed how many other diseases were secondary to people who had messed up guts. So in other words, if your gut wasn't right, you had a much higher probability of manifesting cardiovascular issues you had a much higher probability of manifesting upper respiratory infections. So think about that. If my underlying health issues haven't been resolved, then if I'm exposed to a new organism of some type, you have a greater probability of having a rough time with that. Okay? That's just basics. There's multiple studies that look at that, and these are all comorbidities. So, the personal responsibility component, and this one goes uh, the if and when we have a vaccine, I, I want people to think about this because the longer we shelter, the more we immunosuppress ourselves, the more we embrace fear concepts, the more that our immune system is getting taxed, and then the more that we wait for something that might come, and I'm talking about a vaccine, all medicine has inherent risks unto itself. That's just part and parcel of medicine. Whatever you take, there is a side effect. And so even with vaccines, there are known risks. So I won't travel down that path too far, but I want you to think, okay, we don't know if and when something's gonna come. We don't know the success potential of that thing. And we do know that from multiple studies, when an individual's system is not working well and the things that I'm talking about on the system let's talk about insulin insensitivity which is like the number one plague here in the United States people consuming nutrient devoid food rich in carbohydrates that causes their glucose and insulin to spike 
while they're watching and feeding their brain with the news, getting all stressed out, this causes people to have a poorer outcome when they receive vaccines. It's really fascinating when you look at things like uh, cytokine storms and inflammatory responses of that type. Those things happen when we've thrown our insulin off, when we're turning into pear-shaped individuals, when we can't get down on the floor and do 20 to 40 push-ups, when we're winded because we hike up a, a flight of stairs. You know, we got to look at all these biomarkers and say, what am I doing for myself today to be a healthier individual? So those were my thoughts for today. I just want people to realize that it's up to you and it's up to me to be responsible for ourselves. And there is no vaccine that's going to come out of the sky and protect you as much as you can protect yourself by doing the basics. And I know I sound like a broken record when I go through this stuff, but it's legit. Vitamin D has shown to reduce the severity of infections. It's not the cure-all be-all for all infectious disease, but it's a huge player. So make sure you got your D adequate. Make sure you got vitamin A, C, zinc, and glutathione on board. Adequate rest. Make sure you're exercising, staying hydrated, and of course hygiene. But don't go bonkers on covering yourself up so much that you're suppressing your own microbiome. We, we've got to keep that and preserve it and actually allow it to learn so that when the next one comes along, it's ready and it's going to be protective to us instead of another burden that we're carrying around with us like GI issues or cardiovascular issues or upper respiratory issues. We've got to manage all of that and the microbiome is a key component to it. So I hope that this is beneficial to you and that you realize that, you know what, I, I have the power to control my health outcomes. That, that's really the message and that you should never be waiting for somebody else to take responsibility for you because it's not going to happen. It's just not. So again, turn off the news, do all that stuff that I just talked about, keep a positive mindset and realize that you have the control because you are responsible for you. Have a great day.